I don't think we're going to have a problem finding anyone to talk to. <laughs> A Christmas like no other, thanks to COVID-19. But with just hours before Santa arrived, we found the Christmas spirit alive and well in Calgary. We're, we're just asking how, how your Christmas uh, has been, your holidays have been here, given that it's a little bit different this year. Good, yeah, just making do and adjusting. We've got a little uh, young family, so we're able to kind of make some new traditions, which is fun. Well, you know, it's it's... Certainly not like normal, that's for sure. But you got to make the most of it, right? We build lots of like snow tunnels in our uh, front yard there because it's like higher than me. So cool. Yeah, do like a 12 day of Christmas thing. So we'll come up with like a new gift and kind of like ding dong ditch someone's house and leave a cute <laughs> gift there or something. Cool. Celebration of that. And so yeah, we just do little things like that to make you know spread the Christmas spirit. As you can see, there are lots of people uh, boating. Uh, some people out here walking over the water. I think I might see some people swimming here as well. Oh. <laughs> Do you think we sort of lost something this year because of this, or? I think so. I mean, it, <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> it's just certainly not at all <clears throat> like any other Christmas has ever been, you know? I think that's the great thing about being young is um, she's just excited about everything, so it's worked out well. Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> We're just staying close to home this year, trying to do some skiing and skating, whatever we can do to stay outside and stay active. Just kidding. <laughs> We're simulcasting in Edmonton tonight, so uh, I figured if I see an Oilers jersey, I better do my duty here. I'm looking forward to next year. Have you started to make plans already for, for a year from now? Not really. We're not sure what's going to happen, but um, we normally go down to Montana during the holidays. My mom lives down there or lived down there, and she's in Alaska now, so maybe we'll go up there for the holidays next year. We might be doing some overcorrection, maybe. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Maybe Europe next year. Let's hope. Yeah. Back, back with family. We're just going to pop like 12 bottles of champagne and cook two turkeys. Yeah, and <laughs> that's right. Hey, it'll be a very special Christmas next year. I'm sure by next year, it'll be fine. It will be. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be okay in a few months. Yeah. June. June. So maybe we can do Christmas in June. There we, can you all, go. we can all meet back here and instead of skiing, there we can go, go swimming. We can go, we can go canoeing, there right? Go. And yeah. then have two turkeys. I love it. Yeah. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.